Okay, I'm calling this meeting to order. My name is Peter Hoffman, Chair of the Economic Development Committee. This is a remotely conducted open meeting. As a preliminary matter, this meeting may be audio or video recorded. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Here's Jason. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Paul Anderson? Here. Jeff Green? Here. Grant Gustafson? Here. And Jason Rowell? Here. And I'm Peter Hoffman. With a quorum of the committee president, I call this meeting to order at 6.08 on yep. Monday, April 1st, 2024. All right. So I have little to talk about, but the sign update is as simple as Ed Munter at the general store has not gotten to the presentation or proposal I presented to him some time ago. He's just too jammed up to get to it, but he's still committed to the sign. He's still committed to reviewing it, and he's still committed to the idea. So that's the sign update, unless somebody's got something further. Um, the Marlboro Zoning, Solomon Pond Mall, bit. Um, Jeff, I'm gonna, Jeff and Jason, I'm going to put you on the spot. Did you have a chance to review it? Yes, it was very extensive and well done. They, I mean, I don't think I would want commercial greenhouses or airport, but everything else looked fine. <laughs> Just those two things? Those were the two that were like, well, those wouldn't make much sense for <laughs> business. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, to Jeff's point, a um, lot of information. Uh, I'm glad to see they're trying to do something over there and move forward. Um, the comments that were made by, um, was it the planning board? Yes. Um, I mean, I, I kind of agreed with what their statements were and what they were looking for. Um, I didn't really have anything additional to put into it, so I didn't. Okay. I saw what I saw what was already sent over and I had no, no additional information. All right. So do you think you two could put something in writing, even if it's just a couple of sentences, so I can just forward that? I have a question. Sure, go for it. Um, I assume that, you know, the what we say now is not set in stone, and this is there's going to be iterations and more chances to weigh in as this goes forward. Definitely. We're just advisory anyway. Okay. We have no, we're not. Yeah. We're not uh, definitive. Why, why do you ask? Well, it was an extensive document and I didn't see the airport or greenhouses. <laughs> so. I didn't either, to tell you the truth. <laughs> That's why. I'm, oh, well, yeah. yeah good point. We have, we have an airport. Mm -hmm. was, that, was that in the table, Jeff? Uh, it was on the list of, of businesses that were... In, like, it was like it was a huge list of businesses. No, right? no, it was five pages. Of, so at the end, there was something about... that. that but that must be allowed... Already, I think it was already already in the already allowed businesses, but yes, that's okay. That's okay. That makes sense because I've I've I didn't look at every one of the businesses that's already allowed. I was more interested in seeing if it was allowed now. Is it not being allowed, or if it's not allowed now, were they asking for it to be allowed in the future? Yeah. You know, we have an airport or had an airport on. We did. That's right down the street here. But yeah, they, no, they got built houses on it now. Yeah. 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 Well, if you could put a couple of sentences together, even yeah, if yeah, that's Jason and Jeff, can you do that by tomorrow? Do you think? Yeah, I. If I had known you needed a response, I would have. I. Well, it'll it'll be a little bit more complete if you guys chime in. For sure. Jeff, could you? Yeah. I mean, there's not much more to talk about. I'm just going to retransmit to the planning board what we've, what uh, Paul and Corinne and I wrote. Um, I. Is there anything else to discuss or ask or challenge? 
but we didn't no, but I, I did just so you know I looked at it again. You're right, Jeff. I mean, it's it's absolutely allowed now. The airport and heliport mm -hmm. is allowed now, and it would need, require a special permit under the proposed zone. I guess I did see that. I don't know that I had a problem with a heliport. Can't imagine putting an airport in there, but I think it'd be a short takeoff. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's cool. it. That's it. All right, Corinne, it's all yours for the uh, electric vehicle issue, Porta Potty, and 5K running race. Uh, yeah. So I, I summarized that in the agenda email that I sent. Uh, do you want me to find it or do you have it open? Um, there's some. I All right. So starting with the EV, um, I guess we want to decide if we want to take this to the planning board and get permission to or approval to apply for the grants and go ahead with it or not. Um, um, details yeah. are in the, um, I guess, the email that Peter sent. So if you haven't had a chance to read that yet, then uh, maybe everybody could respond. With some so I, I think we would need to get input from um, where before we voted on. Where? The location yeah. of it? Yeah, that's in the uh, summary, which is um, uh, Woodward Ave across from um, 1870 Carter. Okay. I thought oh, it said that sorry. there were a couple of locations and you were looking for input from um, uh, the highway department. I guess we, yeah. yeah. So that was the final input that we would want to get from them. Um, thanks, Peter. Just um, so that they can weigh in in terms of um, like plowing in winter, that sort of thing and um, parking areas. But otherwise, uh, the the main uh, location that makes the most sense would be there. And it's had a site visit from um, the company that would do the work and they approved it as um, being capable of, of um, putting in the, the units there. So unless anybody objects, this is far from a fait accompli. It's gotta go through a lot of process. We'll bring this to the planning board and see what their temperature is. If it's good, we'll pursue it. We, the EDC, will pursue it. And if it's not good, we'll drop it. I mean, I, I'm in support of it. I mean, based on, I didn't read the email from today, but based on previous conversations, it wasn't uh, going to cost anything out of pocket if the grants were approved. So I, I think it's 5,000 out of 85,000. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, they spent 75000 on a fence for the garden. I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't see why we can't spend 5000 on a on uh, electric vehicle charging station. So I, I support it. I do too. I am as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can, Jeff, you're on board? Yeah. You're, okay. So we can easily say that the EDC supports this and Brandon will take this to the planning board and and uh, we'll see where that goes. We're going to have to get together with the Energy Committee a bit more so that we don't step on their toes and inversely don't duplicate efforts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so perhaps we can go to the planning board together with the Energy Committee. So I'll loop in, um, loop them in beforehand and make sure they've read all the materials that I have um, <clears throat> prior to going to the planning board. Well, why don't I, I would suggest that we get you and I on the planning board schedule and between now and that meeting, you can get the energy board, energy committee to either chime in or join or oppose or whatever. Yeah. Is there any reason to think the energy committee is going to have a problem with this? Uh, no, but I can easily hear townspeople saying yeah, this is an energy thing. Okay, no, I okay. I understand why we need to loop them in. I think that's a great idea. I was just trying to figure out whether it's just a formality or whether they're gonna there's, there's actually a possibility they're not gonna think it's a good idea. Ren, you you know best. You've had a little contact. Yeah, no, I think they're all for it. It's just a matter of looking into the best, uh, the most cost effective way of going forward with it. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so that's it for the EV. Peter, the the email you're showing is sort of uh, is not showing much. Is there more? If you scroll down, I'm not sure. Um, 
What do you do? You see one, two, and three? No, no, we do not. Oh, what do you see? We see sample appointments, remote uh, uh, meeting scripts, and I am calling this meeting to order. Blah blah blah. What you read, but we don't see anything else. I've got the wrong thing. Huh? Just a second. Cast, cast EDC, I think. So that's your yeah your script. Well, that's embarrassing. Let me try a second time. Uh, so in the meantime, I'll give an update on the porta potty downtown area, which is number three, just because that's quick to deal with. Um, so we're just looking into it, still getting prices, finding out. I'd like to find out if we can get some sponsors so that um, the town isn't paying for it. Um, Peter found a company that will seems to be a good price, 130 a month. So we're looking at doing May, June, July, August, up until Labor Day and um, just those four months just to have something in the downtown area. And I spoke with uh, um, Stan Rogolinski, who's affiliated with the First Parish Church, and he said he's gonna take the idea of whether um, um, they would be interested or willing to have it uh, located on their property. So I'm waiting to hear back from him, and I will also contact the general store, um, Ed, and see uh, what he thinks about it. So, um, so number general sorry, store is that Ed is a tenant doesn't own the building. That's true. Yeah. Um, so also the owner of the store. Yeah. Just um, go ahead. The the company that you've gotten a quote from, is it the same company the school uses for the sports fields? I'm not sure. I don't know. I asked Fred Cummins um Cummings about it and I don't think he was involved. But this is 130 a month, especially for a handicap unit. That's a screaming deal, from what I've learned. Um, but if somebody comes up with a better, just, deal I, I, better relationship, by all means. I just wonder if we already have a relationship with a company. Just adding a, an extra stop for them shouldn't be a big thing, you know? Yeah, that's a good point. All right, I'll look into that. Um, I, I think there's a phone number on the side of the porta potty where whoever the rental company is. Um, the only reason I know is they just dropped them off this past week to start the season off. Okay. Uh, good. Yeah, I'll take a drive down there and look at and get the number and call somebody and find out. Um, good point. <clears throat> okay. Anything else on three, or should I move to number two, the uh, the race? <laughs> Can you see the right email now? Yeah. Uh, race it is. Okay. Okay, so in order to go ahead with this, I need uh, us all to decide or agree um, just so I can get some stuff set up like the web page and Facebook page and stuff like that for advertising. So we need a name. Um, I propose calling it the Berlin's Apple Fest 5K and also doing a kids race, which would be like a half a mile race. Um, and call that um, Ghouls and Gores Kids Dash, or if anybody has ideas that they would like to suggest, um, please let me know. Um, that's one of the questions. The other one is uh, the location. So I talked to Gerard Bairn for um, Berlin Orchards. He's he's in agreement and uh, is interested in doing this. I spoke to um, the police chief, Eric Schartner, and... Um, He's got a lot, of, a lot of experience doing this sort of thing. He's in support. He's going to help out. Um, <clears throat> so if that location uh, is, if you guys all agree or don't have any anything against the location, um, the other thing is the Berlin Food Pantry would be the charity that we um, that the uh, proceeds go towards. And what else? Oh, and the, the date would be the last weekend in October, which would work out well because it's the end of the apple picking season. So it's a way of maybe extending the season, but not, you know, getting in the way of peak season for the apple picking. And um, it's also close to Halloween, which would be good for the kids. Um, Halloween costumes, you know, all of that more of a festival feeling. This makes me think that back to the porta potty, that maybe the porta potty should stay through the October. If it's funded for part of the year, it can be funded for a couple more months, but yeah. A little bit off that's, point, but go ahead. 
No, that's a good point. Yeah, and I actually have to ask um, at Berlin Arches whether they have any. That I'm guessing they must have something on site for that. I'm not sure if they do. If not, then um, yes, sure you're right. We, we would need some. <laughs> They yeah. may need extra, but they must have something because they serve so many people, right? And they're serving food, so yeah. Yes. Yeah. And we we don't have any funding for either the porta potty nor the the, the race. I realize you're going to seek sponsors, but I, I think getting money for this will be very difficult mm. through, through the town. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking into ways to for for this to fund itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. What um what how much money does it cost to organize and run a race? Uh, I'm still putting together the budget. I'm getting quotes on the various things that cost money, um, and I don't have the final numbers yet. So um, rather than give an incorrect number, I'll just let you know at the next one um, what I expect yeah. it's going to be. Yeah, I was just more curious, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. What we yeah, would be, I, I mean, mean, obviously, like police details expensive, but you would yeah. think the town, the town could donate that resource, right? Uh, but maybe sure. not. Sure maybe not. Could. Will they is the question. <laughs> yeah. Question, yeah. Jeff? What was your question, said, Jeff? Oh, I said they could donate it, but will they is the question. Right. Yeah. But, you know, I like the idea that Corinne's pulling together the cost because, you know, so even if they don't donate it, right? I mean, if they say, no, we're going to have to pay, once we know what that is, I I can see going back to people up at Highland, you know, and whether it's L.L. L. Bean or whether it's Cabela's or Market Bean, there's a lot of people you could say, hey, you know, we'll figure out some way that you're mentioned in this in this local race, right? I mean, I think yeah. you can do yes. that. Yeah. So I have, a, I've put together a sponsorship package package which um has different levels uh, and exactly what you say paul that um you know we would go to local businesses um and offer them um you know different levels of support or um in order or to um to get different levels of um acknowledgement and right. uh, advertising for the race so you know uh, either the logo could be a big logo on the shirt um, or just their name, or it can just be their name on a sign, depending on how much they want to donate. So the sponsorship package, um, I know Jeff has probably seen it because I'm borrowing it from one of the uh, running clubs, and they have levels that start at 2,000, 1,500, 250. So that's so, you know, I, I want to go to Fit Factory up at Highland yeah. Commons, L.L. Bean, Cabela's, all of those big names. And then, of course, you know, everybody in our town, um, big list of, of businesses in, in town, uh, the country club, Berlin general store, um, people like that. So I've got a list of all the businesses that we would like, and then I'll get enlist some volunteers to approach the uh, businesses and um, give them the sponsorship package. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we should be able to cover the race, no problem, um, and make it a fun event. When do you expect? Wait. Back from the church, from Stan. Uh, I, I gave him my name and number, um, so I don't know. He didn't exactly say when it might be. Okay. But I can look for him next Saturday when I'm dropping stuff off at the transfer so, station. Right. Just from the um, corporate sponsorship side of this, um, I, I know at least Clinton, they want at least a month before the event. For any type of so you really want to be looking at looking for sponsors in like august yeah i was i mean i've already approached a couple so i'm i i yeah i'm definitely trying to get this as much in line or lined up as early as i can since this is our inaugural race and and this is my first time doing this so um trying to get all of those sorts of things as early as possible mm. locked in and, um and also well go ahead i was just gonna say i could even see uh, Jeff, a month is not enough for Corinne. I mean, she needs it sooner. If you're printing up posters or and shirts and yes. things like that, I mean, yes. you need sponsors. They, they want the um, sponsorship day. request a month before you need funds. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So gotcha. If, yes. if you so need, need funds in right. September, you, need... you want to be asking in early August. Right. And and if you needed funds in August, you need to be asking in July. Ask yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Do you think the bank would be interested? 
I I think they would. I would recommend it, but I um I thought they would do another race and it that didn't happen, but that one was not in one of our towns. So it was one town over. So hopefully this one I would be able to um push through. And Trent, you were saying the, the ranges in sponsorship were from two hundred and fifty dollars to two thousand dollars, something like that, or yes. Okay, I just wanted to roughly up. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Jeff, what was the amount asked for in the rejected one? Uh, it was five hundred. That it's five hundred typical for the bank. Would you say? Uh, it depends on where it is and what it's for. And the, this was not in a community that we technically serve, so it was um, out of market. So it was less. But I know they've done sponsorship for the Bolton Road race when that was first starting up. Um, for more than that, and I know they've done the road race in Clinton um, for a, around that level at least before. Good. Yeah, so that's good. And I was thinking I would, um, you know, when I'm advertising for registrants to sign up, give the registrants a deadline to say, all right, so if you want to be guaranteed a t-shirt, you must register by this date. After that, you know, if there's any leftover, you get one so that we're not, not ordering stuff that's, you know, um, not going to be used or right. spending money we don't need to. Good. So if everybody's in agreement with the race name, location, charity, and date. I'm so I support it. I like yeah, that. That all sounds great. Yeah, I agree. And thank you for doing it. Thank you for the yeah. end. It's super. Yeah. Um, so that's it for me. That's it agenda wise, except for picking another date, unless somebody's got something else to say. I guess not. Nope. What what sort of date are we thinking? For the next meeting. What month are we starting? <laughs> right. Well, I think it's a, question April. For, it's a question for Corinne, right? I mean right. What are you thinking, Corinne, in terms of whether you're going to need help or where you are once you know have a sense of the budget and then all that kind of stuff? What other help you need from us? I mean, it seems like you're moving right along. So in May sometime? Is that? Yep. We can always call a meeting sooner if we pick one that's too late. <clears throat> so. Well, yeah, I think I've got enough information to go ahead. Um, okay. Mid to late May, and then we can call it sooner if we need. Sounds good to me. I don't think our dog, my dogs, are into it. So we've got the week of the sixth, thirteenth, the twentieth, and twenty seventh. Let me check the main See if that worked. So the weekend of this Monday the sixth is town meeting, but seventh. I mean, we could. I mean, I, it, How about the week of the twentieth? That's not always, good. For, that's not great for me. Thirteenth, probably better. Twenty seventh. No, twenty seventh. I think it's too late. That's two months away. I mean, thirteenth is okay. It's also Memorial Day, so it might be. Some people might. When's Memorial Day? The 27th. the 27th yeah the 27th how about the, is it, what do people think about the i just worry honestly to the 27th if corinne needs help or or wants to share more information that's that's really too much oh, the 13th is fine yeah okay tuesday wednesday or thursday any bad days guys chase jeff tuesday i have soccer practices so all right so that rules out of jason where are you going to be uh, later in the week, I'm out of town, so I won't be available. So that's Monday, Monday, Monday the thirteenth. Works for me. Yeah. All right. So Monday the thirteenth, six o'clock, still good. Yeah. Sure. When are we going to see your pretty face, Jason? Next. <laughs> oh. Hopefully the next meeting. All right, Jeff and Jason, don't forget to send me something about the uh, Salmon Pond Mall Overlay District. Yep. And uh, Paul, thanks for your comprehensive. 
and Corinne, your comprehensive uh, input. Oh, mine wasn't that comprehensive because I, you I guess I, I dismissed the airport one. I thought the heliport wasn't a bad idea. I like heliport. Quick trip to Logan. Nice. Yeah. All right, I'm going to move to adjourn. Anybody else would like to second that? Great, Jason. Second. It's always good when you second. I don't have to rewrite the notes. <laughs> I'll second it. All in right. favor? Say aye. 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 aye.